Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September 2019 reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium to give you all the messages that I receive for the month. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aquarius. And we're looking at love, career, finance, family, health, friends, whatever information I get, I will relate to you. And for those who have subscribed to me, you know I'm making changes to my um, my channel. So I'm going to do it like I did in August where I do the regular monthly reading that I've done for two years. But I will do an extended version of this as well on Vimeo for those of you where it really connects. So the first card we're pulling is an angel message. This is for each and every one of you. It will apply to your life somehow, some way. This is from Isaiah. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your love life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So Aquarius, and I am a fellow Aquarius, a lot of changes are coming into play. But I'm seeing these as really wonderful changes for most of us, okay? People who have done their actual internal work really looked back on the past and pulled some of those lessons from some of those negative experiences that we've had right positive as well but most definitely negative so let's take a look at your career and finance first then i'll do uh, couples and i will do singles on the other side so let's take a look at your career and finance so we have the five of swords now the five of swords did come in reverse but i'm going to read it in the upright so the five of swords is when we're in a lot of conflict this can be self-sabotage energy it always is attached to fear this negative association with this card this is like one-upmanship when, when you or someone else that you're dealing with is trying to overpower one or more people where they're mm, in it to win it, basically, at all costs. That's kind of the energy of this card. Very negative card. Whoever you are dealing with, there may have been some uh, negative aspects between the two of you, between the company and you. But because it's in the up, uh, it's in the reverse, this is changing. So this conflict, this self-sabotage energy that comes from here, if it's you that's doing it to yourself, it, you're coming out of it. Whatever's been happening that's really negative is getting ready to change. So as we analyze the past, like I said, it, you know, the people who have done the work analyze the past, pull the lessons from the negative experiences as well as the positive, analyzing everything in your career, everything in your finances. Are you happy in this career? And as you reflect back, you may see where there's somebody around you or like I said, you yourself may have been sabotaging this. However, the good thing is through this analyzing, change is getting ready to take place. So this is really good news because I feel very um, positive. Those of you who felt that energy shift over the last few weeks, positive things are most definitely coming in. And you can probably feel that, right? That's my dog panting in the background. Okay, so this is all about you taking action. Action going toward what makes you happy. Making positive changes actually happen in your life. The page of wands can be communication. Absolutely. This is you putting your resume out. You understanding, I know my value. I now know my worth. I have all the education, all the skill set, the experience, everything you need for whatever you're passionate about. It's time to take a risk. It's time to take action no matter what. This is driven energy. So some of you are getting ready to start a new venture. 
this could be an actual business of your own is what I'm seeing. Some of you, this is an online business. And for others, this is putting your resume out there, accepting an offer, recognizing that you don't need to sabotage your own self. We have many of people around us oftentimes that try to do that. So we certainly don't want to be doing it ourselves. So I am so happy that we're coming out of this phase, right? And getting ready to take action to create new. The wands are about passion. It's, it can be a very, it, this is the spiritual energy. When I'm giving my readings, this is about moving forward in all areas of your life. Because a lot of you, I'm seeing your love life connects with your finances. Somehow, some way, they're connected. This is really going to help you out. It's like getting unstuck. Feeling, and I know a lot of you, you do feel that, that energy shifting right now. Something's coming. So keep doing what you're doing. Put your resume out there. Yes, this is about confidence, forward movement. So it's very good energy. Now let's take a look at you couples for the month of September. The main messages. Okay, so we have the Prince of Pentacles and the Princess of Pentacles. This is equivalent in the regular tarot that like this. This would be the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is very driven. You and your partner may be very work-oriented. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, most definitely. And some of you may be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sag. This is about forward movement in your relationship. Some of you have been waiting for a really grounded offer. An offer to move in together. A change. To change to a higher elevation of where you are at in your current relationship. Now this is for exclusives. This is you and your partner dating, but maybe you're not engaged. Maybe you're not living together. This is a very slow moving energy. So some of you do have an offer coming in that you've been waiting for for a long time to make changes in your life. Progress, forward movement, solidifying the relationship in a higher level, right? Pentacles are about grounded energy, stable, secure. And we have the King of Pentacles. So yes, most definitely some of you are dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, absolute energy of earth okay very grounded energy you're with a partner or you this could be you i don't think so uh if you have virgo taurus or a cap in your chart yeah this is a person who is really a wonderful person they're very grounded they're very loyal they're very very dedicated so whoever your your partner is, they do want a long-term commitment. They may be very work-oriented. So with the combination of them being very methodical, they plan everything out. They're very organized, very efficient energy around earth. But they're very slow in making this offer. But it's coming. So some of you are moving to a higher level of commitment in the month of September. And again, that could be moving in together. An offer of let's get engaged. Let's get married. Let's take this to a higher level. So that's really lovely. For those of you who are actually married and this is your partner, I'm seeing a, a progress in your relationship changes being made that are going to make you feel more stable. You may have been at odds with your partner recently over the last seven to eight weeks. For some, it could be seven to eight months. But what I'm seeing is there was a lot of conflict and it could have been a lack of communication or you or your partner are so work driven 
there was the lack of communication, but this apology is coming in and they do want to make changes. So they're going to have communication with you. You guys are going to work this out in the month of September. So let's take a quick peek at singles and then I will pull an advice card and a romance angel card as well. So singles, we've got the full card. This is let go, let God. This is you saying, you know, I have no idea. You're ready to start something brand new. You feel the energy, like I said, the shift that you're feeling, something's coming, something positive. And something very positive is going to take place in the month of September. Now, some of you may be meeting a brand new person. This is definitely representing Aquarius. But I feel that you are meeting somebody who may be a little bit more on the same page, where they're more authentic in the way they communicate with you. They're willing to communicate. And I'm seeing like this lift of energy in you where you feel, ah, you feel light, you feel free around this person. You feel as though this new person, you do not have to wear a mask. Now, that's a really good feeling. And the Ace of Swords is about a brand new, authentic, genuine, truthful communication beginning, okay? Where you and this person are going to really hit it off. You know, when you look at this full card, look, he is off the ground. He has got his toe on the tip of this. But this is being in alignment, knowing that, that you are not alone, that spirit's got your back, that everything is going to be okay. No matter what you do, you're going to stand in your true authentic self as well. No mass, no games. And you are going to make sure that whoever this person is, you're going to accept them exactly the way they are. So this is really beautiful energy. You're meeting a new person. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm also hearing Aries. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups. This is an opportunity to have a brand new relationship with somebody. Like I said, you don't need to wear a mask. You can be open and free and it will lead to something beautiful, romantic, explosive love around the two of you. And it is going to be amazing. You got two aces, Aquarius. We've been waiting for this. Now, for some of you, this could be somebody coming back from the past. The reason is Ace of Cups can be a renewal. So the two of you may not have been on the same page when it comes to communication. Some truth needed to be exposed. And I do believe this person is going to tell you the truth about the way they feel about you. About the healing, internal deep, deep healing that they've been triggered into if you're a soulmate, because some of you, this is a soulmate relationship. You have an opportunity to renew something that ended before. And now you're feeling like you're walking on air. Because this truth is what you suspected all along. It's what you wanted, were hoping, wishing and praying to hear. And now it's coming through. So that's lovely. New or renewed from somebody that you already know. You already have love for this person. All right, let's take a look at the advice card. This is for each and every one of you. And then I'll pull a romance angel card. Now, for those of you who are new, if you like me, you like my style, you like this reading, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you click the bell, you'll be notified. Uh, right now, I'm not doing personal readings, but you will be notified in the future for workshops, group sessions, seminars, webinars, etc. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And when we're talking about you as singles in romance, absolutely the lighter side of life feeling that freedom that i'm talking about in each of these this is appropriate because humor when we laugh 
it opens up our heart chakra. It lifts our vibration up to where we just naturally flow into a positive state. And that's what you're doing in the career sector, okay? That is exactly what you're doing. All of these changes, the grounded changes, the truth, the feeling of walking on air, be in a frame of love. Love is humor. So I hope that that makes sense for some of you guys. And let's take a look at the Romance Angel card. I'll pull one for the couples and I'll pull one for the singles. Couples is there. Okay, couples, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Have faith that that feeling you're getting, kind of like an inner knowing, like something's coming, right? Trust your gut. This is a grounded offer. This is a true, sincere apology. And it may be very long in coming. You've waited a long time. And they're in a beautiful place to be able to do or say or give what you've been waiting for. I say waiting because again, it was a long time. So trust this situation. It's going to happen in the month of September and singles. The card for you is forgiving and learning as we release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. And that is absolutely what's going on here with you in this energy. A brand new beginning where you have already done the work. You've pulled those lessons and it's opening you up for this beautiful brand new love opportunity. For some of you, you are going to get the communication that you've been hoping, wishing and praying for. So I hope you enjoy this reading, Aquarius, if you'd like the extended version. If this sounds like you, we have all elements on the table, all elements. Uh, you can click the link below and I will see you on the other side. Have a wonderful month. Much love.